Hey guys, it's me Sarah. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a really fun video. We're going to be doing my fidget collection. So I am going to be getting a fidget package really soon. So when I get that package, I'll be showing you the haul. But for now, I'm going to show you all the fidgets I have. So let's get started. First, I'm going to start off with my homemade fidgets. I keep them all in this box. Comment down below which fidgets I made here you want me to show a tutorial on. So let's get to it. Whoa. First I have this fidget pad or whatever you want to call it. It looks really pretty with all these colors. It was really easy to make and it's super fun to play with. fun to just fidget around with. Next I have this unicorn paper squishy. I made this a really long time ago and I don't think I knew how to draw unicorns. Next I have a homemade simple dimple. I hadn't got one yet so I tried to make one. Those are my four mini DIY pop tubes. This is the easiest fidget to make. Next, I have four monkey noodles. We all know and recognize these from our childhood. These are really cool keychains. Comment down below if you want me to do rating my fidgets. Next, I have this homemade tangle. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of paper clips, but it comes apart pretty easily, so that's not very good. But it's really fun to just fidget with it and move it around. This is also very silent because the paper clips aren't made out of metal. Next, I have this like wacky track convention. It's like the homemade pop tube, but there's only one and there's a whole bunch of pieces of plastic straws. But it's really fun to fidget with. I don't think there's an actual fidget like this. But this is considered a water stress ball fidget. And I love this so much. Next, I have this Orbe stress ball that I love fidgeting with. This is one of my favorite stress balls. It's actually pretty loud. And it makes really fun and weird noises. Next, I have this other water glitter stress ball. 
This is a pretty big stress ball compared to my Orby stress ball. I have this donut squishy that I painted with my friend. This was also pretty old, so we decided to paint it. And I got this squishy from Daiso. Next, I have this pineapple squishy. I also got this from Daiso. It's not very slow rising, but it's very fun to squish. It's really good quality because my nails are pretty long and it hasn't poked it yet. Next, I have this soft and slow squishy. This has like a sticky tacky texture to it. And it's also pretty slow rising but it's one of the harder squishies that I have. Next, this has to be my favorite squishy. It's this eye bloom peach. It's super slow rising and airy. It's really soft and it smells super fruity. I love it so much. Next, I'm going to go on to all the fidget pads.